Whether you're always experiencing Blue Monday or just getting over it, here are a few games that are bound to cheer you up. I'm Mahin Kasol and here are 5 games you might have missed this week on Steam. Oh, if life can sometimes feel like an endless ocean, then why not sail on it? Say hello to Sailing Error. At first glance, this game looks like some whimsical visual novel fare. But lo and behold, it's actually a richly featured sailing simulator set on a real-world scale map. With a dynamic weather system and 200 ports to explore, this is basically a trading game in the spirit of Elite or Sid Meier's Pirates. There's quite a bit of room for role-playing here too, with more than 300 captains to helm your vessel, ranging from legendary pirates through to Japanese rodents. With its diverse set of characters, think One Piece but with more actual pirate elements in it. And yes, don't worry, there is naval combat too. Because when you're an eye patch wearing pirate with shallow depth of field, the first thing you're going to want to do is fire a cannon. This looks like a genuinely ambitious simulator, but if you're undecided, there's even a demo to try. You'll know exactly what to expect from Vengeful Guardian after looking at it for just 30 seconds. It's a sci-fi platformer with lush 16-bit pixel art. Think Robocop meets Castlevania with a samurai twist. And all by appearances, Studio Joy Masher is very determined not to deviate from that ye old formula. There are 8 stages of beautiful pixel art that have some light customization options for the robo protagonist, and probably a lot of frustrating deaths which will have you screaming, I'll be back. Um, I don't quite know what the fuck I'm looking at right now, but just when 5 Steam games was meant to be cheery and uplifting this week. But hey, if you're into this sort of thing, Life Gallery was a game originally released for smartphones in 2020. It's a surrealistic puzzle game with a truly bizarre approach to horror. Across 50 illustrations, you'll slowly learn about a broken household and its seeming relationship with an evil cult. And whilst the unfolding story sounds engaging to some, it's the art itself that will hold your attention. Each of the illustrations play host to their own puzzle, all of which require close attention to the story. Now let's move on whilst I delete this from my memory. Who needs colour in a game, eh? Sorry, Blue Monday has got me in a bad mood. Anyway, here's a dungeon crawler with a one-bit monochromatic pixel art veneer. Protagonist Kamuto, who appears to be a cat, has just started a new job, and things go sour very quickly. Before long, Kamuto is crawling dungeons in the style of an old 8-bit Zelda game, except without colour. Sorry, I am really hung up on the fact that this game has no colour. Anyways, there's a nice mix of reflex-orientated combat and puzzle solving here. And while there appears to be nothing particularly original on display here, the trailer hints at some big formula shakeups like forays into the first person perspective, and who knows, maybe even some colour. Is that too much to ask? Okay, so if you thought today's episode couldn't get any more unhinged, Isle of Pan is another surreal entry this week. Only this time we're dealing with a first person photography adventure that's compatible with VR. Set on a remote Nordic island full of pocket portals to bizarre alternate universes, the goal of Isle of Pan is simply this. Wander around, take photos of weird stuff, and as you progress, gain more tools that will make your photography even prettier. These various worlds are populated by over a hundred creatures. But don't worry, they're all of the passive variety and not able to be caught and kept in your pocket. I mean, do you really want to catch this? While this is playable on a monitor, we feel like it would really come to life in VR. As you can see, it seems gamers deal with this awkward time of year in some... creative ways. So I hope you all find solace in whatever kind of games you're playing at the moment, and remember to keep your head up. I've been Mahin Kasor, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe to PC Gamers YouTube channel. See ya!